Hey friends, Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. Welcome back to my garden. Um, I finally got my stackers out of the box. Um, there were three different colors. I bought them when they were a dollar a piece and now they're like a dollar twenty-five a piece. If they even still have them, I'm not really sure, but I've had them in my shop for quite some time. Uh, but anyway, there's blue and the terracotta and then it came with um, white, kind of a cream color and I gave, we gave those to our son. So anyway, I just wanted to show you how we did this. Um, they are all stacked up on this pole and I believe the pole was 10 foot that my husband picked up. He picked up this one and then there's the other one in the, in the center. But So this is about 10 foot and it is in the ground I would say probably about two feet down so that it'll be good and sturdy. And it's kind of windy out today and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's not affecting my sound. But I just kind of wanted to show you how we did this. Um, he Okay, our, first of all, ours did not come with, let me put this down, ours didn't come with the caps that were on here. Okay, a lot of people had these caps on here that they just popped off of there. Well, they didn't have caps on the bottom. Um, so, anyway, we poked holes. That one's not poked through. We poked holes in um, all of those pockets. Okay, so actually I'm going to have Michelle show kind of what we did here. So, husband found this tool, show him that tool. We don't know what that is, but it's handy dandy. And then, it uh, looks like that needs to be poked through anyway. I'm not sure if you can do that, but he stacked a bunch of them all together and then poked through at the same time. All right, like that. So we poked all of those holes through. Okay, and then she's going to show the drill. Now these were stacked up, okay, he probably had five at a time stacked up, something like that. And then just put a hole right in the middle with that drill. Okay, just simple as that. And then we just stacked them up. They've got them stacked up. Now he um, tried to pound those stakes down all the way, but that's okay. I said just go ahead and leave them like that. We'll get creative, you know, with them these up here but let me tell you they're pretty sturdy and I think that those will do just fine so we're gonna go ahead and get started to fill those up with the potting soil so far so good it is looking fantastic I had the blue ones done, which I planned on just putting flowers in, and obviously I need more plants. I can't believe how many holes there are in this thing. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'll do that. I'll get some more plants, and then over here we've got this one filled up too, and we're going to put herbs. I'll you know put plant herb seeds in those. So here we are, the very next day, and those are so pretty. I'm just tickled pink with this. Um, I was so excited to look out my window this morning and see those. They're so pretty. So there's those. And then I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get my herbs planted today, get my seeds planted today. Everything else is coming along just great in the garden. But if you guys have any questions on these towers, just leave me a comment and I will, you know, answer the best that I can. But I'm just really impressed with them. Thank you so much for watching and you guys have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye. There's my king of the hill cat. King of the dirt hill little hunter. So we have the grandson here this weekend. Can you say hi? Wave to the camera. Yeah, thank you. So you guys, I hope you're having a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Have a blessed one.